are certainly a lot of different creatures taking shelter here in the Subnivium. And I'm keeping track of them right here on the screen. Hold on, I'm picking up something on the surface. Wait, what's that? Uh, snow? No, beneath the snow. I hear food. Oh, yeah, I like food. Psst, Basil, hold up. He's got a pair of wolves straight above you. Wolves? Oh, oh, I stuck myself with my own quill. Oh, we porcupines do that sometimes when we're ow, startled. Tweak, can you distract the wolves? I've got a hurt porcupine to care for. One distraction coming right up. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here to help. Now hold still. Ah, yeah. oh, much better. Thank you, Peso. You're welcome. Oh, come on, there's more food this way. Shh, wolves. We may not be able to get out, but they can certainly claw their way in here if they hear us. Phew, they're gone. Oh, no, they're not. Do your worst, wolves. You're going to have to get to me first. Peso? That's right. Priscilla guided me here through the tunnels in the Subnivium. Sorry to scare you. Oh, oh no! Uh, What's uh, that? Looks like the wolves heard you burst through the snow. Tweak, we found Parney. How could you possibly distract those wolves again? Only got two fish biscuits left. <gasps> I can use Dashie's wonder cam to steer the wolves away. Now, oh, come on, there's more food under here. Oh, the other food was a lot less work. Well, it's not like more food will just come flying our way. Huh? Huh? Hey. Huh? hey, look, more food just came flying our way. Food, food, uh, food. But what about the... Uh, oh, never mind. Give me that food. <sighs> Tweak did it. The wolves are gone. And it looks like they've done our work for us. Allow me. Oh, me, oh, my! A little warning next time. It's much more fun this way. Isn't that right, Gus? Gus? Oh, finally! Food! Uh, Granddad, run! What? It's just a dragon's blood tree. Who said that? An alien? <laughs> it's just a small lizard. Who are you calling lizard? I'm a chameleon, and I'm trying to hide from a vulture. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be missing an egg by any chance? Why, yes, that vulture stole it from our clutch, didn't he, dear? Oh, yes. Thank you so much for returning it. Shiver me whiskers. You chameleons can change color and hide anywhere. More often we change color because of how we're feeling, or if we get hot or cold. So we can tell a lot about one another just by looking. Oh. Uh. Huh? Those guys again. I better get out of here. Well, take a look at that. Invisible aliens guarding sparkly moon rocks. Not invisible aliens, Quasi. But maybe it's something that could help us get off this island. Now, which way did that scallywag beetle go? Granddad, there he is! Ahoy, matey! Stop! Stop! No way! I'm on a scouting mission! Yourselves to this! Spiderwebs! Get him off, get him off, get him off! Easy now, Quasi, that's just an old empty cobweb! Are you sure? Are you sure? Check my back, check my back! All clear, matey. 
No skull spiders in sight. Now, where's that beetle? There he goes. Avast! Your friends sent us to find you. <laughs> you think I'm going to fall for that? Well, that was an unlucky break, and Bailey got away. Yeah, that little stinker's really starting to bug me. That's it, Quasi. It is? I remember how bad that beetle's acid smelled. How could I forget? That's how we'll find him again. All we've got to do is follow our noses. This away. <laughs> I think I lost them. <laughs> now to finish my mission. <laughs> <laughs> What's the big idea? Oh, sugar. How nice of you to drop in. You're just in time for dinner. And you're the main course. <laughs> Stop! Oh. Trust me, you do not want to eat this beetle. And why not? Eating a bombardier beetle will give you serious bellyache. Plus, he stinks. <laughs> this sweet little old beetle? He doesn't smell bad at all. In fact, he smells good enough to eat. Uh, I do. Don't say I didn't warn you. OK, Bailey, do your thing. What thing? You know, the, the squirty thing. Oh, right. I almost forgot. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, Mr. Beetle. You surely are not what I want to have for supper. Here, have a fish biscuit instead. Oh, thank you, sir. Never be whiskers. It's dark in here. I'm getting hungry. Barney Patty? Mmm, I'll uh, save it for later. Which way should we go? I say you go with the flow. If the wet is not this way, we come back and try the other way. No, 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 matey. Let's do this the pirate way. A pirate chance, of course, and sail straight for the... I'll go this way. Looks like it's decided then. You and I will go down this tunnel. I'll lead the way. We know this wetter lives in the dark, so he could be anywhere. Quasi! Pani, I forgot to tell you something about cave wetters. Don't startle them. If you do, they're likely... Shellington? <sighs> We're so deep underground, the radio on the Octo Watch won't work. <gasps> Did you see that? See what? I'm not sure. It could have been a wetter, or maybe a spider? A spider? Um, new plan. You lead the way from now on. Are you afraid of spiders? <laughs> Me? Whatever gave you that idea? Pony! Hello? I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've got you, matey! <laughs> That was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave wetters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of wetter. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right. Back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed okay to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt. That's the one. And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means we've got to go right back to where we started. I'm Captain Barnacles. I, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs>